Ah, uh, good luck, Chris. You too. Uh, so I'm packing first. Uh, so are you doing anything to start your turn? Well, nothing. Uh, let's start turn. I'm going to put a counter on the tunic. Yes, yes you are. Hmm? Yes, yes you are. <laughs> That's what I was alluding to. Um, I passed our turn five interaction phase. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there is no priority in the start, in the start or end phase. So. Useful things like mentors as well. Yeah. I'm gonna come in, so I'm gonna play uh, Blood of Syndicate for three. Yeah. Um, so put Polish passes to yourself. Um, um, okay, um, in my last step, I'll play our um, Intestinal Empowerment. Uh, it's a target ninja attack card, times plus one and draw a card. Yep. Uh, no reaction for me, any other reactions? Um, no more reactions from my side, just be one please. Okay. Um, I'm going to play out. I'm going to play out Rising Resentment for three. Um, has got on hit effect, my banish attack action with less than number of credit training I control. Draw it out, currently two. Um, I'm going to block for four. Uh, both of them trigger. Okay. So blocking for four. So, okay, um, no reaction for me. Nothing for me. Okay, um, attacking it again um, with another rising resentment. Um, um, so, that's just coming in for three, please. Uh, I can't do blocks on that one. Hi, okay, uh, my priority, I'm going to pull that back into the space using fire yeah. and then three. And I'm going to attack in for that with uh, just, just coming in at AE for one. And I'm going to move towards the main step. Yep. So Arsenal. It is your time already. Yep. Um, I'm going to sacrifice for Ice Vein, pitching Ice Eternal. Um, okay. No floating. Technically, my carpet goes on stack. It's a trigger, but I'm not going to pay it for it. Um, okay. any, any anything instant speeds? Um, nothing instant speed for me. Um, just uh, wait for the barrier comes in later. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I'll let my card no resolve, no effects. Um, I'm going to trigger waning moon, pitching. Uh, polar Blast, leave me one floating. Coming in for two arcane. Um, I can't just come in for two arcane. Yeah. Two arcane because you haven't played, you haven't played the enough action card. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, because I played, yeah, I played eight of ice, ice stone. But it hasn't resolved yet. No, the, the, the deal, the deal for your arcane is only if I do it in your turn. Okay, um... So, does the Aether Ice fail to deal Arcane as well? Oh, yeah, sorry, I need to I need to fuse this. So, fusing it with Hypothermia. Okay, but both of them will deal Arcane damage. Yes, yeah, so this is going to deal two, this is going to deal three, and if uh, if it was fused, when it deals damage to a hero, they discard a card unless they pay two. Okay, so, so it, is, it is fused, and I'll show so, you. So, um. I think I should have shown the Ice Blast, but that's my. So, uh, Wailing Moon? Yeah. Um, so, I'm pitching three? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Arcane Barrier, one. one of it. Yeah. So I'm going to take one, one. damage. Yeah, that resolves. And then if Ice Vein comes in, the free Arcane. Um, okay, I am I'm declaring no responses to that. Okay, so free Arcane. And you discard a card unless you pay two. I'm going to use two floating to pay for that cost. Yeah, that resolves. Uh, move to end step. Hope okay, fine. Last one pass. I'll clear, I'll clear, I'll clear that out. Okay, um, start, start my turn. I'm going to put an energy counter on the tunic. Yep. Okay, I'm going to play Enlightened Strike. 
Um, so, so pay the costs. So I had so the cost. I put a card at the bottom of my deck. Yeah. And uh, I would, hold on. At what right. point do you want to interrupt me? Uh, choosing comes when the card is resolving, right? Uh, good question. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it does. Yeah. So on the. Uh, I paid. I paid costs. I paid all additional costs. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't chosen yeah. a mode yet because it doesn't so matter. as it's be, as it's being played, I'm going to play uh, Hyperthermia from Arsenal. Okay. Um, because it's a nice card. Uh, buy something goes on the stack. Any response? No response. My nice center resolves, giving you the frostbite. Sure. Hyperthermia now comes into play under your control. Uh, Taxi control can't gain go again. Uh, Taxi control. <laughs> Attack, uh, control, lose, and can't go. So can't go, can't go, game go again. Go again. Yeah. Um, and now, and now, um, this resolves, which lets you you now choose. Which means I'm pretty sure if I let it resolve, you can choose go again, and this doesn't do anything. I think. Attack, sure. control, can't go and go again. Yeah. So if I chose to go again mode, it wouldn't give me go again. Um, what I mean is, like, if you. I think you choose it. I think you choose it before you can respond. Okay, so there's a bit of a cut there. Um, we were basically discussing the economics and rulings behind uh, E Strike versus Hyperfermia, because neither of us have really played competitive Flesh and Blood properly. Um, we, were, we found out that E Strike. Obviously, the additional cost put to the bottom is done. Uh, the choosing is done when you announce the card is playing. Um, so Ian has chosen the go again. Um, mm -hmm. We're deciding whether it has go again by the time I respond with Hypothermia before this card resolves. We, obviously, we've discovered that, yes, uh, E-Strike's node resolves when the card resolves. So therefore, I will respond with Hypothermia um, on the stack, mm -hmm. um, which will then trigger Icelander on the stack. And then they will resolve backwards. So Icelander will resolve, giving Ian a Frostbite token. Yep. Also because Fire doesn't play at instant speed, like most decks in Flesh and Blood. Hyperthermia will then resolve, which will be placed on Ian's field. Then E Strike will resolve, attempting to gain go again, but Hyperthermia will prevent it. Yeah. And it's now on the chain. But again, really good, really good interactions there to actually learn properly um, and how the playing card interacts with the combat chain. Which yeah. is certainly where uh, Hypothermia and Iceland at Thrive. Yes. So, right now, Enlightened Strike is a card that is attacking for five yeah. and cannot gain go again. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of specifics here. Um, I'm going to kind of block as any reactions. Um, I, have, I have no reactions. That's your way, I made. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, I'll take five. Take five. So I've got no action points. Uh, yeah. So are you moving to end step? Um, I'm moving towards my end step. I will think on the attempt to move to end step. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. So I move to end step. I hope. This goes to bottom. Oh, sorry, this goes to discard. So that goes to discard. These two discard at the start of my end step. Yeah. So I've got one card in hand, one in arsenal. Yeah. So I'm just drawing three. Yeah. Um, and we'll pass the turn. No, I missed both. I should have. Uh, yeah, I should have passed that. That's fine. Um, we're going to swing with the Endel's fight, Fighting Spirit. Uh, pitching. Um, um, because it's a casual game, yeah. I'm just going to point out you missed an optional beneficial trigger. Oh, yeah, with the Endel's. If you'd like to do that, feel free. I, I paid a lot of money for VM bills and I don't take it up. Um, so if you've got the card, use the card. Um, we're then going to pitch... Oh wait, no, I can, I can just do this. Sorry. This has go... I, I'm not used to iron, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to play a Amulet of Ice, which has go again. Okay. And then play VM bills Fighting Spirit. Uh, pitching free, which will be uh, Cold Snap. Okay. Uh, when the end of Flying Spirit attacks, if I'm lower life, which I am, I gain one. Yep. And it's coming in for seven. No go again. Seven, no go again. 
Um, let's have a quick look. This one complicates everything. Not by life. 36. Um, I'm going to declare no blocks. All right. So, uh, no reactions? No reactions from me. Right. 37. I will ask and pass. Okay, sure. Okay. Yep. Uh, start of phase, I'm going to put an energy counter on that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a green token to represent it. Hatchy is fully charged at this point. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so I'm going to play um, Art of War. Uh, yep. And I'm going to pay one for the cost. Cut the cost, which is one. So, which two are you choosing? Um. You choose now, and then the so card is off. The most I'm choosing. Uh, attack action card, again, plus one, plus one. And may discard, attack, may banish an attack action card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. So I am paying for that now. Um, and, so? and I am banishing an attack action card from my hand. Uh, therefore, I'm drawing two cards. Art of War is crazy. Art of War is an insane guy. So I'm going to remove the energy counters from Fiandals. Uh, give me one resource token. Yep. Um, I'm going to use that resource to pay for Soaring Strike. Um, Soaring Strike is coming in for five, thanks to the buff from Art of War. And um, when Strong Strike hits, you may banish an attack action card from your hand, which costs less than the number of chronic train links you control. If you do, it gains go again, and you may play out this turn, and Strong Strike has go again natively. So that's coming at you for five, please. Uh, I'm going to block five. Okay. Tree crown. Sure. Uh, this one. Any reactions? No reactions from me. Right. So, no hit. Nope. That's fine. Um, I'm going to play Blaze Headlong, yep. which is coming in for five again. And it has got going to play the red card order this time. Um, I will block for two. Any reactions? Uh, no reaction from me. Okay. Um. I am going to think about it again. I've no resources for placing right now, so I could use that on top of the film track. Just coming in for one because it's the only attack action card to art of war buffs. Yep, uh, no response. Take one. Uh, um, I'm going to use one of my, one of my um, floating to pull back um, a Phoenix Plan. Yep. Put it into my hand. I'm going to attack in with Phoenix Flame for coming in for two. Uh, one from Train Link, trying to train Link to a higher, one from Art of War. Yep. Uh, do Candy Block has any reactions? Um, no reaction for me. And I'm going to play. 
Give it a gush a little bit. Yeah. And play Snatch, Blue Snatch from Arsenal. Yeah. Um, that is coming in for two, three, four, thanks to Shuko. Yeah. And it's four, can I be prevented? Has to be blocked, of course. Yeah. And on hit, draw a card. Um, I'll block for six. Block for six, so no hit. No hit. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to move towards my answer. Sure. Um, I'm not sure if I just knifed my life counter there. You're on 29. What? You're on 29. Okay, that's fine. Um, my apologies if I did. That's fine, you're on 29. <laughs> Um, my turn is just going to be Arsenal pass. Again, you did miss a beneficial trigger. I'm sure I let you do because it's a casual game. It, I'm going to get it next turn anyway. I'm not using it this turn. That, that, that's fine. Yeah. Sorry, my turn? Okay, so, um, my, my turn. So I start, I'm going to put an energy counter on the end of Spring Tunic. Yeah. I'm going to play a little, yeah. um, which I'm going to play pay blue for, yeah. leaving me with two fighting. Yeah. I'm going to declare and pay the additional cost. Sure. Additional cost will be an attack action card with three or less base attack. Yep. In my hand, I am, and we've been salt the wound, we've got a base for two. Yep. So I search deck for a card, named it Minerism. Reveal it. Yep. Put it to my hand. I gained one, right? Gained one, because of course. So whatever you attack or block? Uh, right? Whenever I attack or block it. That's very nice. I didn't realise the unblock effect. Yeah. Um, Anything else before that resolves? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm just thinking. No problem. Uh, you're fine, can you? Uh, you're fine, so I'll take one. One. Okay. Um, I've got a card of zero in my picture. I'm going to swing on with Harmonized Kodachi for one, please. With red salvage strike for four, on hit it will go and go again. Go. Yeah. Two in hand. Um, on the clear, so as you play it, um, I'm going to pop the amulet of ice. Sure. Uh, you discard a card unless you pay two. Discard a card unless I pay two. Okay, um, that's fine, I will pay two. Yeah. Um, give me two resources closer. I'm then going to, after this is resolved, I'm going to play Frost Hex from Arsenal. 
can trigger Icelander. Yep. Icelander, bow and pigeon, so it can trigger. One hit away. Uh, ice under the air, ice under resolve, giving you a frostbite. Yep. Uh, I will let the frost frost X resolve. Um, so, frostbite I control, I have the beginning of my end phase, deal one arcane damage to me. Um, and is there any way of getting rid of that? Is that literally just there for the game? Uh, unless you've got a card that specifically gets rid of it, no. I'm then going to, after that is resolved, string check to gain a resource. Sure. Um, and I'm going to activate Waning Moon, pitching Wounded Door Red. Yep. Um, doesn't look red, but it is, trust me. Um, <laughs> dealing 3 Arcane. Dealing me 3 Arcane? Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to use my. So I'm going to use my, um, one of my Floatum. Yep. Um, to. To, um, to, to Arcane Barry, what is it? With Lantern? Yeah. I'm taking one arcane. Uh, two arcane. Two arcane, which of course it's during my turn. Um, so we're still in your declare blockers phase, aren't we? But you'll let, you let the stack resolve through down back to blockers. Yeah, we're well, on one blockers now. Okay. I'm just saying one on the block move. Okay. Does Salt the Wound say attack actions or just attacks? Each attack. And what's his base? Two. Correct. We're looking for four. Um, so that will be, that will be no hit. No hit. So um, reactions? No reactions from me. No reactions. So I'm happy to let the attack resolve. Yep. No um, however, uh, so my question is, yep. um, at the beginning of my answer, yep. um, Frostbite did one, one to me. Yep. I will lose that at the end of my action step by until I said wipe the other arcane value it. Yeah, I believe I believe resource is in each phase. Because obviously frostbite is very specifically start of end step. Frost text is very specifically start of end step. So wherever it's um so we're gonna fight in. Rob. Um does floating resources disappear at the end at the end of each phase? Turn or turn. Okay. Turn. So turn. turn. So I will have that floating during my end step. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. In that case, I will end. Um, I will end the train. Yeah. And I'm going to move towards my end step. Yeah. Uh, Frost battle blood, which deals you one arcane. Um, but will because it's a replacement. It's a replacement because it's still got conditional one to activate the. Would it cause additional one to act like the arcane barrier or no. not because you're a arcane, arcane, arcane barrier is a replacement effect. It's not, it's not, an, not an ability. Yeah, it's not an ability. Okay, so I'll pay the one I've got placed into arcane lantern to not take the damage from the frost attack and fight right. Add our arsenal. And I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pass back to you. And I'm going to draw up at the end of my turn. Yeah. And your turn is going to just draw up. Okay. So start my start phase, I'm putting a counter on Fiandos clinic. Um So I'm going to play Tackle Harmon for that tree. Yep. I'm pitching word side so paper exactly. Um, but we'll have to go again because it's got a cost of zero coming up with one place. Yeah, I'll take the one. Sure. Um, I'm coming with Blaze Headlong, um, which is coming in for four. No go again. No go again.
Block for three. Any reactions? Block for, block for three. Any reactions? Yep, I'm going to pop Snapdragon Sky as an attack reaction yep. to give Blaze a long car again. No reaction for me. Any other reactions? No other reactions. So. Um, yep, so I'm going to play Type Tempo. Yep. Uh, pitching Red. So I'm going to play exactly. Okay, but no go again. The Knife Guy again does have non-hit effects. And the next turn. Yep. And I would have hit it three more times with combat train. That's fine. No blockers. Any reactions? Um, I have no reactions to that. Yep. So take five, please. And I'm going to resolve the effect of Take the Tempo. Yep. The Banish Top card of deck. Attack. It is an attack action card. So I play it until the end of my neck turn. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that slightly separate and put a counter on it to remind me. Yeah, sure. And I'm moving towards my step. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play... Oh, I'm going to play draw first. Oh, no, draw an uh, I'm going to play Ava Hale. GM just going and giving me two floating. Coming for two arcane. Two arcane, two floating. Yep. I think I may have cheated. Sorry again. Yeah, I think I cheated a couple of times ago. I hope what do you think the issue was? Uh, I popped an amulet of ice, but I didn't fuse in the turn. Uh, it's way too long ago now. But, yeah. That's fine, but it's, yeah. Yeah. I popped an army of ice, making you. I mean, I shouldn't have even popped it that turn anyway. That was a, that whole turn was a misplay by me. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I, I I don't know. To, enough. I, I have to fuse with them. I don't know about Icelanders to spot the best place. You know, I have to. I have to fuse the turn I want. You know, I, I I had a feeling there was something to do with fusing on the card. I just couldn't see it. I, didn't, I just so, didn't really okay, it. so that's where we're. Um, I am going to. I'm not going to bow or anything. Sure. So I'll just take two. Okay. Cool. Um, I will um, move priority to the end step. In doing so, I will pay two and waning moon for two. Um, okay, so it's coming for two. Yeah. Again, I will not pay any arcane for that. Sure. Uh, I'll then ask one pass. Sure. Okay. My turn? Okay, right, start of fight, start of fires, I'll put an entry counter on Fiendor's Prong Tunic. Yeah. Um, which now has got three counters on it. Right, um, I'm going to start turn by playing Rise and Ashes. Yeah. Okay, it's attack, uh, Quirin Ninja action. Next, Quirin Ninja, Ninja gains plus three. My return of Winnick from the graveyard to hand, which I do want to do. Let me do any, any interruptions, any interruptions? Nope. Bit of flame. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm coming in for one. I am pitching blue. So I currently have two resources floating. Yeah. And I've got a cost of zero, so it has got go again. Uh, I'll take the one. Okay. Um, now I can play Soil Strike. Yeah. Uh, paying one for that. Um, it will get a buff from Wife right Nashus. So that's coming in for seven with an on hit effect of a most banish attack action card, which is going to go again, play again this turn. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, so now I'll get other questions. Yeah. Um, I have a attack that's got on hit effect. Yep. And I've got an effect that triggers when an attack hits. Yeah. How if it how if at all can uh, I do that? I mean, you would choose you would choose which one you you want to do first. This is kind of bothering before. But yeah, you, you when when multiple triggers activate, they have the same. Okay, um, so I've got no I have no attack reactions. No defense reactions. So okay, so what I want to try and do is use it doesn't hit. Hmm? It doesn't hit. Doesn't it? It's a pretty. Oh. oh. So it's coming for seven. I had. I just. I. I had four. Sorry. I put the counter. It's coming for seven. Yeah. Okay. I'll rethink that one. Okay. I thought it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll just block for seven. So he's now, he's now blocking for seven. Yeah. So I thought it was coming for four. That's why I say. No. It's... Yeah. I was. Wait. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the. That's no problem. Class. So um, no hit. Yeah. Um, ha but I have it, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm attacking with Phoenix Flame, which is coming in for just the, just the bomb, at yourself, please. So it is my second or highest chronic kind of training. I've got, nat I've got to go again natively. I'll declare no blockers. Any reactions? No reactions from me. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna go ice from Arsenal. Sure. To trigger Icelander. Yep. That's gonna resolve. It's giving you a frostbite. Yep. Um. And yeah. Continue. Okay, so it just comes in for one for you. Coming for one. Okay. Um. I'm going to use the one I've got floating. Yep. To um, pay the cost for this banished shot of wound. Yeah. To get to trigger off that flashback. Yep. Um. So that foot. So sort of words are coming in. Yeah. The first part is cancelled out. Yeah. Coming for two. Four. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Uh, are the block five. Can't be printed. Uh, yeah. uh, kind of the kind of blockers. Any reactions? Um. No reactions from me. Uh, I'll pipe that for. Okay, and I'm going to move forward my own step. Yep. Uh, I'll just And it's um, your turn when you're ready. Last one, guys. Over Okay. Yep. Uh, start a turn, I can't get any energy because that is capped out. Yep. Okay, um, I'm going to attack with Blind with Sender Claw for three. Um, really um, no cost. Block for three. Yep. Um, no reaction for me. No reaction. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to attack him with a now draconic um, harmonized Kadachi. I'm pitching blue. Um, so I've got two floating, and it has got go again. So I've got a card of zero cost in my pitch room. Just come on, come on at one, please. One. That's one. Um, um, attacking the Ravenous Rabble. Yep. So, for the top card deck, it's a red card, uh, Mounting Anger. Therefore, Ravenous Rabble is coming in at 4 4 with Go Again. Block four. Block four? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going 
up home. I'm going up home. One, two, five, seven, six. Yep. Because I've got two Draconic attacks there. I'm going to play Phoenix Flame, which is coming in for one place. Okay. Uh, it's got one in hand, one in arsenal, that works. Yep. Uh, so, on the hip hit, I will pop Master Pants in there on the hip and that, please. And it is um, Banish It and Travel. Yep. That'd be a lot of burst. I can put a counter because I can't play until the end of this turn. Cinderclaw, which is now coming in for three, because it's the second attack on the train. It's a track card with base two or less. It's coming in for three, it cannot be printed. What does Marvel um, Burst come in for? So? Was, like, was it gained? Uh, burst will come in, because Rupture is tripped on this train, it'll be coming in for five. If it's played as training four or higher, it has plus three, and it's base two. Three. Got four. Three. Okay, and uh, yep, I will be playing a lot of burst from Banished. Yep. Um, which is coming in for a total of five, please. Yeah. And I'm moving towards Manta. Yep. Frost bite, and it's resolved, giving you the frost text. 
Yep. Um, and so these are these need to. Yep. And so resolves. Take two arcane. Uh, so, yeah, well, one and one, which okay. I'll um, which I'll go and use lantern to and my two floating to block out. Yeah. And the crossbar is now destroyed. Let's get this move on top as well. And I'll draw. Whatever your turn is, what? Draw up as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Apologies, I'll clear my pitch as well. Just a question of when can I get that last damage to him? Okay, um. I'm gonna play Blitter. Um, I'm going to be pitching blue. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll reveal that in kind of three of those both power. Yeah. I'll reveal your life bonus in the claw. Yeah. I'll still shuffle even though it's in the bottom of the No, I just say so instead. <laughs> I keep it in my head. I'll go home. Nah, I needed a turn where you didn't draw a blue. Oh. It's done rough. I, I, there was a turn about four or five turns ago where I like, I just... Well, first off, I cheated. Um, but <laughs> even, 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 even then, uh, I, I overcommitted to do nothing. Like, I was thinking about it in my head, like, this isn't going to do anything, I don't do it. Then 20 it, seconds later, I did it. And I was it wasn't like, even a good cheat. No, I am. Um, <laughs> I, pop, I, I, I popped an amulet of ice without fusing. So, that's coming in for three, please. Uh, yeah, I'm, just I'm not going to concede, but I'll give you the, I'll give you the game. Uh, effectively. I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop Stormtriers to let me play a wizard action. So, yep. on this. Then, let that resolve. Then before this resolves, I'm going to play uh, Aether Ice Vein. Taking two pitching polar blasts, between two floating. Um, I'll fuse it. Yeah. So it deals five arcane, and if uh, if it was fused, you discard a card unless you pay two if you take the damage. Um. So I'll discard a card unless I pay two. Yeah. But it'll be five arcane either way. Yes. Okay. Uh, sorry, you only if if it yeah if it deals arcane, that's when you discard. Uh, I will uh, no block from the arcane, so I'll take five arcane. Yeah. This guy will pay two. This will resolve. Holding priority, I'm going to legally pop Angular Vice to make you this guy card or pitch two. Um, I will. I will pitch blue. Yep. So pay for that. Yeah, that will resolve. I'm then going to play Raining Moon using the two floating, swing for three arcane. I will declare no reaction to that. Sure. Uh, and um, still the block is top. Yeah, block for three. Uh, block three, and I will just um, go for the insulting. The games. The games. Oh, I'm trying to do a fast target, though.